Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and this is Liquify by Tobias Dostal. Before we do this, briefly, like and subscribe if you like it and you want to subscribe to it. Check out onlinemagic.co. That's my membership site. We all love it. They all love it. Have a look at they. Very important. I Obviously, I love it. I made it. Um, but have a look at what people think. Read the Trustpilot reviews. It's very, very good. Live sessions and uh, over 900 videos on all manner of magic. Beginner to pro. So this is something I was looking forward to very, very much. Big Tobias Dostal fanboy. Tobias is one of the only people, not one of the only people, actually, that's a bit unfair, but when I'm in the Lescar, um, the chaos that is the Lescar at Blackpool Convention, uh, you can always find Tobias when he's at Blackpool showing the stuff he's working on recently. And he was doing this uh, at the last one and just really excited about it. Previously to that, I'm a massive fan of optics, still haven't really nailed it to perform it loads. The, the, the beautiful mobile phone trick uh, he does, which is just quite scary and bold, which is probably why I haven't done it, but just genius. And I don't use that word lightly. Um, Candyman, I saw him session at uh, the session convention lecturing, doing this amazing trick with peanuts where the peanuts would just vanish and he put someone's hand over his hand or, and, and they would feel the peanuts arrive in his hand after tipping them out of a thing. I love that and I had it and I lost it, I gutted and I want another lot of them because Candyman is the official release of that, which is with M&Ms or sweets, which is again, probably a lot more versatile, but I just love the peanuts things. So if you're watching this and you're still doing them in your lectures, I'll buy them off you because uh, they're great. So uh, Candyman, brilliant. Optics, the sunglasses thing that you came out with before all that, I didn't see silhouette is just beautiful again really underrated i know everybody thought it was great but i think it's just i still want to do something with that um and the thing he's working on with liquid melting through his hand anyway you get the idea big fanboy so this is going to be biased i was a bit worried about this because whenever you see something in its kind of stages of development you worry that the official release might not be up there um you know, with quality and things like that. And this is no, this is just the way it is because it gets obviously taken off of him and uh, put out to us. This really feels like he's overseen all of it, all of it. The first thing is that when I opened this box, I was so pleased at what you got. You get loads of different things that you need. That's important because this is very versatile. You can take someone's ring off you put it in your hand and give it a little sort of as if you're kind of melting it or warming it up and then it's kind of dripping off your fingers it's so good but you can do it with a sharpie you can do it with your phones if they're sort of the screen's melting it's just endless and you get so many different colors of the things that you need that and the rings really importantly so you can borrow a ring um and i haven't really said what this does yet but you see the footage watch the trailer um and which, which does work, even if the colour is, don't worry about whether the colour's not exactly right. It's it's great. And, you know, you borrow a ring and it, it becomes liquid and then you you sort of spin the liquid and it ends up on your fingers. It's so visual and brilliant. And, you know, the, we'll go on to subtlety in a minute, but not difficult at all. But you'll find lots and lots of different things to do. So you get five, I think five, different coloured rings in here to either practice with or use. It's all right using them. Just give them out first. Yeah, five. Give them out first. Um, people can check them and then you go into the whole thing. Now, is it difficult? So it's easy. Now, it does take a bit of practice. Two things. One is if you're going to go with the move he teaches to kind of swap things out and get it all going, that's going to take a little bit of work but what i realized in performance and i have performed this a lot now is that when you're you've got kind of even if you kind of fumble a bit you're in a situation where you're going to be doing something to this ring warming it up so my tendency is to try and get it really smooth so it looks like nothing's happening whereas something is supposed to be happening obviously you don't want to flash the gimmick or any of that sort of stuff but it is going to take a little bit of work and i would say that 
I've kind of I love thimble magic and silly things like that. So there are moves that if you do thimble magic or ring vanishes and stuff like that, that's going to be very helpful. If you're coming into it cold, you're going to have to do a bit of work. Now he does talk you through step by step all the different sort of slights that you need for this. So when I say it's easy, it is sleight of hand. You're going to have to do some work. You have to turn up and do a bit of practice. But there are ways, even without that, of doing the switches and things like that, where you can still create an amazing illusion. So angrily, less than you'd think, because you can step back and, and you know, obviously you don't want to do it completely surrounded because you'd be sort of back here. And I, I think it's nicer to kind of, you know, to be able to perform it like that. And I think it's great to do with a, a bigger routine. So you borrow a ring, you do some vanishes, you, you maybe do a ring flight. It comes back. One more thing. You can just warm it up and like that or don't do it that way around probably. But this is a moment. And yes, you can do it as a whole trick, but the moments are the bits that make it memorable. It's so odd and weird. And I was delighted when I performed it that the audience of lay people that I showed, I took it on the cruise ship and did it a couple of times before that, felt the same. Their responses were verbal. They, they weren't expecting it, of course. This is something they don't expect. They expect things to vanish and reappear, but they don't expect this kind of visual odd melting thing. Now, the other thing you're going to have to practice is the acting. And this is really important to, to make it look like it's kind of melting. And thankfully, he talks you through this, which is great. It's like a masterclass. And kind of like, but, but it's it's about subtlety. I think all of us, when we're kind of acting, we tend to kind of want to go too big. It's about just not doing too much, not showing too much. You know, what would it be like if actually you were you had this kind of hot metal on your finger? Oh, you know, all that kind of thing, I think, is is really what sells this and like a vanish now when we do a vanish we tend to kind of put too much into it when we're learning but the you know when we don't do it like that when we do a vanish and keep it gentle it's it's that's what's difficult it's kind of not overworking taking the work out of it and that's the same with this but again you've got loads of material on here and i th actually think it's worth it yeah there's a bit of him kind of going oh you could do this and this and this um which is great but that you know the real meat of this is in that first video of the the routine and then you're going to just come up with loads and loads of different ways of, of bringing the thing into play and creating different effects it's a very different effect when you just sort of put your finger in there than when you kind of put your finger through the ring and it becomes like, anyway is that going to make any sense sorry about that so there you go it's really good i'm really excited about it i use it it's as part of my regular work now and I just love it. One more thing, I suppose, is, you know, it's my friend Gaz has, has kind of tried to design like a, a holder. Try to, he has. Um, this isn't commercially, he's just kind of, oh, I've worked on this to hold it. So I think you, you could, you don't need 3D printing and stuff like that. I think to work out a way to, to kind of hold it steady in your pocket so it just isn't messing around, because it's quite a small thing that you need, uh, is something to think about. But even without that, I... Uh, had a great time with it right that's enough as you can tell it's brilliant um liquefy tobias dostal let us know tobias when your next thing is coming out because i would love to bang on about that as well take care reset i don't know it's all right yes yeah, good Just take put it on <laughs> people want to know about resets don't they <laughs> see you later take care have a look at online magic.co see ya i would like and subscribe bye